The mayor! Come here, please. Need you to do me a favor. Right, come in. Come in, Cam. Come in. Come in. Alright. Rate my cut. What you think? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. Go ahead. Just let me have it. Yeah, you look bald on the side. I look bald on the sides? Mm hmm. Both sides, both sides look bad. Guys, guys, guys. They look horrible like a. Ah! Why are you doing that? Don't be no sad. That best ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, bruh. Don't even get down for the bread. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Call the plot. Cotton some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Is the swim team in the building? I said, is the swim team in the building? Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad! Yo, I haven't said that in almost a year. It's been a long time since I shot one of these hair videos, man. I do get questions from subscribers. Hey, over those lads, are you still raving? Are you, are you still, do you, what's going on with your hair? As you can see, I got a mini fro right now. I haven't really paid attention to trying to get my ways popping unless I have like an event that I'm about to go to. But as far as on a daily basis, me trying to maintain my head, I'll be lying if I say I do. Okay, so today what we're going to do, we're going to use the magic, what is this? Magic clips, right? We're going to use this and we're going to cut our, my hair down because I am looking kind of huff. I don't know what's been going on these past couple of days. Um, I've been to Chick Fil A. I did. I had uh, chicken parmesan. I, I've been going crazy. So this is the start of me taking care of myself. Cause right now I'm wilding. You feel me? I lost 15 pounds. Just trying to lose 15 more, but based on the way I've been eating for the past couple of days, I might have gained them 15 back. All right. So the first thing I usually do is comb my hair out. You know, you just gotta comb it out and make sure that you don't have none of the nigga naps. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of y'all having naps. There ain't nothing wrong with having naps, but you just gotta make sure that you even your nigga naps out. I didn't said that word a few times. I'm had blurred out, but you just gotta make sure that you even your naps out because what'll happen is if the clippers snag something, it's gonna hurt. This is just being real. If the clip is snagged, something is going to hurt. Now, I do want to admit something to y'all. You know what I mean? It's been a... I'm older. I'm not in my 40s or nothing like that, but I'm older. I'm... Shoot. I'm in my 30s, right? I think me and G's... No, G's older than me. Me and Poppy Glass is the same age. No, he older than me too. Well, anyway. I'm there, okay? So, with me being there, my hair in the middle has thinned out. And when you have to cut your hair and it's thinned out, the way you gotta do it is, you gotta use a guard that's higher than the guard that you're using to cut the, your regular hair. You know what I'm saying? Just to blend it the right way because if you cut it all even, it ain't gonna be all even, all right? So the way I like to start off, I like to start off with a two guard open. And you know, you just cut it down. I'm not gonna lie, at one point I wanted to be a barber. And I feel as though, you know, because I I have steady hands, I can draw and stuff like that, being a barber wouldn't be that hard. But right now, that's not my passion. If something is your passion, you shouldn't you shouldn't pursue it. I'm not knocking and saying being a barber is a bad thing. No, if being a barber is your passion, then you should do it. But if it's not, then you shouldn't. That's kind of like people, it's a lot of people out here that make a lot of money working at whatever job they're working at, and they don't like it. Imagine making millions of dollars. Well, I ain't gonna say millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? But imagine. You know, you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year on whatever job you work at, and you don't like it. That doesn't make any sense. You feel what I'm saying? Now, and I'm gonna be real with you: a hundred thousand dollars is not a lot of money. But you should strive to make at least two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. You shoot for the stars, you're gonna be in the clouds.
All right, so cut down just a little bit. It should be okay, actually. So now we got to get the back. Now, what I'll tell you is when you cut in the back of your head, make sure you have a mirror so you can see what's going on in the back of your head because trying to blind cut the back of your head, I've learned that that's not a good thing. That might be part of the reason why my shit thinning out because I've really done a number trying to cut my hair without without having a mirror. And also, also I've had situations where the guard has fell while I'm trying to cut the back of my head. So be careful of that. Be very wary of the guard falling off. All right. So we want to want to comb it and just make sure it's even. It's not that bad. So what I want to do now is I'm actually going to take the one guard. I'm going to open. I'm going to leave it open. But I'm just going to take the hair that's right at the edge of my hairline. I'm going to just knock that down just a little bit. And what that does, when the hair by the edge of your hairline is lower, you know, it, it makes it, it makes like your shape up look better. Now, I'm not a professional barber, you know what I'm saying? But I feel as though I know how to make myself look good. And that's one thing, bro. You have to know how to make yourself look good. The way things are right now, haircuts are expensive as hell. Like, ever since COVID passed, shit. Barbers ain't playing with y'all. Ever since the pandemic, bro, these barbers ain't playing with y'all. Barbers is out here charging $60, $70 for haircuts. You feel me? I went to the barber one time, haircut was $40, and that wasn't even including the bed. Then, you know, I got this little, this little, my, my joint grow kind of funny over here, so you got to put the enhancements. Man, he put the Beijing on, the Beijing would have cost me an extra 50. So, I'm telling y'all, man, barbers ain't playing with y'all, so right now... You know, I'm, I know I, it's a lot of barbers that follow my channel from before when I was doing the hair videos, but this video ain't for y'all. You already know how to cut hair. You know what I'm saying? This video, this for the people who got to worry about putting $100 in, in their gas tank every damn week because gas is expensive as hell, and they still got to go give your ass another $100 because you want to overcharge for haircuts. Don't think you're getting a tip from me. The hundred dollar haircut. Okay, so now I might actually try to give myself a, a taper. Now I'm not the best at doing tapers, but we're gonna try something today. Why not? You know what I'm saying? If it if it comes out messed up, I just put my do rag on. I'm good. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with this open. Start with the lever open. Okay. You just wanna go up just a little bit. So I'll go up my right. Side and do it to this side. I actually like to um, I like to do them together because for some strange reason, when I try to do tapers, I'll do this side first and I'll clean this side up, and then I try to do this side. For some strange reason, man, I'll be messing up, <laughs> and my tapers be looking. One side be looking really good, and the other side just be looking jacked up. So I just try to do them together. So if it's gonna be jacked up, it's just gonna be jacked up together. Right, so I just put this guard on right here. Uh, this is the 116th. Now, I feel as I might have to go up a little bit more just to even it out, but you know, we just, we just creating the, the ball lines right now. And I think my ball lines are actually a little too big, but it's all good. Okay. So the next one, what I'm going to use is actually the one guard. And I'm going to use the one guard open and take up the top right here. I'm 
We're going to use, where's the white joint? Where's that white guard? Where did I put it? All right, so usually it's a guard that I use to um to debulk my hair, and I can't find it, which I'm actually kind of upset about. Okay, so we're just going to use the tool. We're going to use a close. You don't come back to that tape, but it looks a little iffy, but you know, it's decent. What you want to do when you give yourself a shape up, you want to start from the center. Now, before I start, you notice that my joint grow, go this way, right? The reason it grows cross-eyed, because that's basically what it is, is because right here, I have what you call a cowlick. And a cowlick means that no hair grows right here at all. Now, I have seen barbers that, that, that fixed it. In a way where it's just not as uh, noticeable. And the way you possibly could do that is by pushing it back. But, you know, me, personally, I'd rather walk around with the slanted uh, the slanted hairline. Ooh, it, it look horrible on camera. I'd rather walk around with the slanted hairline than the pushback. But let's, uh, let's try some things today, okay? So... We're going to push it back just a little bit. Not, not too much. Not too much. You don't want to push it back too much now. Because mm -hmm, that's a problem. Okay. Not too much. Now, it ain't nothing wrong with, with, with messing your hair up in the learning process, in the learning process. Like, if you take anything from this video, take the confidence in, like, knowing that you can mess your hair up and learning how to give yourself a haircut. But the most important thing is to learn. Learn how to make yourself look good. That's what, that's what this is. Learning how to make yourself look good. Now, if I had some some Beijing, I'll just spray the Beijing over here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe my girl got some makeup. My wife got some makeup. I might be able to do it with some magic. But really, you see, you see how much is missing? That's how much of my hair is missing. Because this is right. This is where my hairline. This is where I'd be giving myself the hairline go across. So that's how much of my hair is missing right there. Now, I don't want to go back too far. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be straight enough, but I don't want to go back too far. I think this is decent. This is decent. You know what I'm saying? This is decent. I still want to keep like my natural, my natural hairline, whatever, whatever is left of my natural hairline. I still want to keep that. Okay, I think that's, that's decent. That's doable. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this could be a little bit better, but you know, I feel as though it's decent for my first time, my first time back in a while. Because usually I just cut my joint down and then that's it. I don't try to do no extra, no extracurricular activities. Which I tried to do today. So, you know, I feel as though 
For what it is, it is decent. For what it is, it's decent. This side to me is a little bit better than the other side. You know what I mean? But the practice makes perfect. The practice makes perfect. So always remember that. The practice makes perfect. You might not get it the first time, but the second time around, you'll be able to trace over your mistakes and see where you made your mistakes at. Like for me, I saw where I made my mistakes at for the first time. <laughs> I just ain't say nothing, but I knew I made a mistake from the first time I put that motherfucker on my hair. I knew I made some type of mistake. But it's all good. It's all good. We gonna rectify the situation. We gonna come back on the beard tip, okay? All right, so the way I do my beard, um, I like to kind of start up first. I'm gonna be real. Everybody, everybody want this like certain look or whatever with their beard, but I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Sometimes that look might not fit your face. You know what I mean? I I gotta I know what looks at my face. And I just go for that. That be my go-to all the time. So always find a go-to look that fits your face because every look might not fit your, your particular face, your particular head shape, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get it. Alright, so you wanna Slowly but surely bring this down. So usually when I be giving myself a haircut, bro. Now, I've been saying this for years. I'm not a professional barber. So the look that I try to go for... It more so be like, oh, it look like he got a fresh haircut and uh, his hair is growing back. So I be going for the, oh, his hair is growing back look. I don't go for the, you know what I'm saying? I don't be trying to outdo myself too much. But today, for some strange reason, I decided to try to outdo myself. And, um, you know, we had, we had some errors. We had some errors, but, you know, ain't nothing that we can't rectify or that we can't come back from. Denea! Come here, please. Need you to do me a favor. I want her to rate my cut. She'll be honest with me. She'll let me know if I fuck myself up. I need you to rate my cut, babe. Come here. All right, come here. Come in, Cam. Come here. Come in. All right. Rate my cut. What you think? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. Go ahead. Just let me have it. Like you took too much off the sides. It's like a buzz cut. It's a buzz cut? Does it look bad? The sides look bad. Like you need to spray some of that spray on it. Like Damn, they look bad? Like. Yeah, you look bald on the side. I look bald on the side? Mm-hmm. Damn. But you still got the spray. No, I don't got no spray. Hey! We can get some. Too. Both sides? Both sides look bad? Die, 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 die. Like, it look horrible like I fucked myself up. Ah! I mean, probably to an experienced person, no, but I know that you did. So if you see me on the street, you just like, damn, he zeeped himself. Why are you doing that? What yeah. you mean? It's like a mullet. You, you do it on the toe. So, does it look like a style of haircut? Yeah. It looks like a unique style of a haircut. Something you created. I don't know if I should take that. And it is thick right here. You did it on purpose? Behind your ear? No, I just missed that. I missed that. So, so. Just this towel. We you going with the tissue, baby boy? Just take a little bit and go ahead. Hmm. What are you doing? 
Daddy won't clean up fix him, but he's not finna save him. I'm sure he's gonna like, throw it in the trash. Please. So it looked like it looked like I I, I zooped myself. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, baby boy. It's mine. It's your one? It's your afternoon. Damn. Yeah. Mm. You have any other questions? I mean, shit. You, you, you told me what I, what I, I mean, I mean, I kind of knew it, but damn. I thought I sounded it. So should I just cut it all off? No. Don't do that. You sure? You said get the spray. I don't have no spray. She hurt. She hurt my feelings. So I, I really zeke myself, but um, you know, uh, I think I sat. Oof, yeah, that looked that looked bad. Whew, that looked that looked atrocious. I try to salvage it the best I can. Um, obviously tapering is not my thing, and I will leave that for the professionals. Uh huh. But in two days, when it start growing back, it'll look right. It'll look it'll look natural. So it looked like I got a fresh cut, and my hair's growing back from an awesome cut. And you know what? I'm proud of this shit. I ain't even gonna put a do-rag on. I'm just gonna go out there and wear it just like this. Yeah. <laughs> 